Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm attempting to use epoxy resin because I really want to preserve these flowers from my boyfriend because I'm super cringy and super soppy. So let's get started. So this is the resin that I'm using. It's got really super cute packaging as well, which is a bonus. And now I'm just showing some coaster molds and little trinket molds and other bits and bobs that I've got online. Everything that I'm showing here, I will try and link down in the description so you can find it as well. So I cut a couple flowers off and then placed the one I liked into a square mould. So it's actually using the mould the wrong way around because it's meant to be a trinket dish but I'm using it so I can create a block of resin. And then I mixed equal parts of A and B. So I mixed it up really slowly for about four minutes. I still managed to get in a load of bubbles, but they actually all eventually disappeared once I'd poured in a layer and just let it rest for a couple minutes. I then sort of folded the petals of the flower, popped it in, and this is where I should have waited a couple hours before putting in the next layer because you'll see in a little bit, it just kept floating to the top. Yeah, lesson learned for next time, I guess. So it's actually now the next day after filming that sort of disaster. <laughs> um, so I kind of relatively knew what I was doing at this point and I decided to use my coaster mold and make two coasters using the flowers that I had left. So my first attempt at this point had fully cured and I could demold it and I was really happy to see that the colour had stayed in the petals and it hadn't gone yellow or anything. And because my mould was matte I had to varnish the top and I'm just using UV resin for this. Putting a little bit on, brushing it in and then I'm curing it with my UV lamp. what my first attempt turned out like. I'm actually quite happy with the results. I think for my first attempt it went okay. The top of it isn't as smooth as I want it to but it's my first attempt guys. <laughs> Don't judge too hard. So back to the coasters. I'm adding in a layer of white resin and to colour it I'm using my pinata alcohol inks and a little bit of glitter as well, just to add a bit of sparkle. I kept the back of this coaster clear and then what was left in the jug, I added in some of my white alcohol ink, stirred it, and then poured it onto the back of my other coaster. for about 72 hours purely because they were so thick and then I could demold them. And here is my clear backed coaster. 
I don't really know what the little yellow marking is on the right here. I think I might have burnt some glitter or something when I was getting rid of bubbles with a match, but regardless, I really like it and the glitter is just stunning. And here's my white back coaster and I think this one has to be my favourite one. The glitter is just, oh my god. <laughs> I love it, I love it so much, so I hope you also enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to like, comment and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one, bye guys!